This guy never mails it in. Lee Genier joins us from the Saskatchewan Rattlers, where he's the president. The Tom Brady of sports executives. How you doing, Lee? I am fantastic, Roddy. Nice to see your smiling face. You always are. The Canadian Elite Basketball League is where we find Lee. He's returned to the role where he won his last of many championships. We wear up. I've been following, man, about a month away from tip-off. Season six of the Canadian Elite Basketball League, Canada's largest pro league. But you had something you wanted to uh, talk about today. What is it, Lee? Yeah, we go on on public sale this Thursday at 10 a.m. So all of our games, you know, we have this um, renewed energy as we move forward. We got a brand new head coach coming to us straight from the Clippers. So he's he's working with the L.A. Clippers right now. I chatted with him yesterday and uh, incredibly excited for that. So, like I say, this this Thursday, 10 a.m., it's like a concert announcement, it's like you two going on sale. <laughs> well, tell me a little games. bit. Tell me, yeah, tell me a little bit more about your coach, if you don't mind. Um, well, he, you know, obviously coming to us directly from the from the Clippers. He's, you know, he's played NBA. He's uh, played NCAA. Just brings a great, great resume to uh, to us. And you know, for between him and and Barry Rollick, they've been able to assemble just an amazing roster that we're incredibly excited to announce some coming pieces in the following weeks which are going to be absolutely huge for the team and um so you know that that's what we've been looking for is bringing that winning mentality back to the rattlers and uh, you know having the best people do that so it's it's a very exciting time for us well i just want to back everything up because we've been talking hockey all day i don't know can you turn that down um i don't know if it's you or where it's coming from but for this is season six i love the league i have since season one uh to be honest you welcomed me into watching the games with the rattlers i think you were the president of the edmonton stingers even slightly before that or after that i got all the games in calgary last season culminated in a very thrilling final in vancouver right where the surge fell uh in the championship game it's it's awesome huge crowds in winnipeg a great first season in montreal like it's all deadly um lots to build on it would seem lee like you uh, keep going up it seems pretty high now what's the goal for the league this year yeah i mean you know what is is like you said rod like they're you know winnipeg certainly sent a bar last year i mean they were drawing close to twelve thousand people for their last game so can we do that in Sassel Center? Absolutely, we can. So May 22nd, the Sea Bears come to town, and you know, is I'm putting a call out to all of our Saskatchewan fans. We need to be there, and we need to beat those kind of numbers. So um, I know people can do it, and like I say, right across the league, all of our teams are trending up. Ten, you know, ten teams across this league, which is fantastic. You're going to see some expansion in the future, which is really exciting for us. So. I mean, hey, it's great to be part of a league that is uh, on its meteoric rise, if you will. Well, I, listen, I got to <sighs> let's just sit here for a second. With the season six upcoming for the CEBL, the Rattlers have been there for the prior five. And I think you're a smart guy. You've been in Saskatoon long enough to know it's not like they weren't a basketball town. They just were burnt. 30 years ago by pro teams <laughs> they were waiting to see if this team and this league was going to be legit i would suggest going into year six the league and the rattlers have proven themselves in the province and in the market would you agree or disagree oh uh, absolutely absolutely and you know certainly there's been a history of the storm the slam the hawks and you know each one of those teams is around for two years each and here we are going into six you know six season and uh, like i said we're just going up so it's uh so we we're here forever so um i you know again yes we we have world-class basketball players coming through this you know through our our backyard and you know this is a provincial team as you know so you know just right you know people are traveling every every week um well you know every i'm going to say every few days from from regina from all across the province from moose jaw 
to our game. So it's it, that's really exciting. And and understanding to have that level of basketball in Sastel Center is uh, is pretty exciting for sure. Well, you know, too, nothing ignites Prairie folk like a good old rivalry. And it's like if they're trailing Winnipeg in attendance, they're going to want to beat them. You know, because, you know, they used to say, we don't want to be inside in the summer. It's Saskatchewan. We have a short summer. Do you think they got any longer summer in Winnipeg? No, they don't. But they're going to the games there. So you guys need to get in there and pack that place. What, so are these single game tickets or season tickets going on sale Thursday? What, hit, hit us again with the pitch, Lee. Single game tickets. So this is all of our 10 home games, just our, our public sale. We're always, uh, we're going to be on on sale for our season tickets right up until May 22nd, uh, which were three times the season tickets we were last year, which is fantastic. But like I say, is come 10, 10 a.m. on um, on Thursday morning, again, that concert announcement-like atmosphere. So it's going to be huge. And like I say, pick all your 10 games and, and you go to the rattlers.ca and that will take you straight to Ticketmaster. We should mention, this is the biggest new, well, two things. One, the league is coming to Game Plus Television, the TV channel that's carrying this show right now, number one. And number two, Ravinder and Manjeet Minhas, when I saw they were buying into the league, I thought for sure it would be the Calgary Surge. That's where they live. But it's Edmonton with the sting. And it's like, is it, is it an ego thing? Or do they actually think they could make some money? Because the Minhases didn't get to where they are by losing money. So how did this come about? No, and you know what is um, they obviously had some prior connection with, with Edmonton ownership. And, you know, it's, if you would listen to Ravinder and Manjeet talk about, you know, they were in town in Edmonton for a game last year. And, you know, I think that's where it all started. And, um, you know, and here we are. And I mean, yes, they everything they touch turns to gold. You know, I think they're the ninth largest uh, alcohol distributor in North America. So. They, uh, they have a lot of passion, a lot of success. I've known them for 30 years, so it's, um, you know, it's fantastic to have them in the league and that profile of, of individuals. And when you look, start to look right across our league and the profile of the individuals that um, from, from Vancouver all the way to you know, Scarborough, um, it just, just kind of talks about where this league is going as well with, with OVO, Drake's brand in uh, Scarborough to David Asper in Winnipeg. So major, major names. And um, so anyways, going back to, the, to Manjeet, yeah, and, and Ravinder, it's, it's great, to, you know, like I say, just to be part of it. Yeah, well, you know what I like is we can say we've been in, buckled in since year one. No Johnny come lately is here. So I'm looking forward to getting back for the summer and uh, taking in some games live. Lee, good to see you. Uh, good luck with uh, the sale on Thursday. Thanks so much, Roddy. Always a pleasure. Lee Genier of the Saskatchewan Rattlers.